<laughs> Where are we going today, Andy? We're going to Las Vegas, Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Yeah, it is. 6.18 a.m. What time did we wake up? 4.30. And what time did we go to bed? Uh, I went to bed at 12. You went to bed at 3. So we have to do our pre morning stretch real quick. Tilt. Drop. <laughs> Goodbye. Get your bag, please, so that we don't get in trouble. Oh, yes, tapper first. <laughs> so now we're um, leaving the airport. We're finally in Las Vegas after about how many hours? Five hours. Great. Um, and today we're just like gonna today go just, like, mess around. Stretching. We're really stretch stretching, getting ready. Um, um, and yeah. <laughs> How excited are we? I'm excited. All right, say bye. We'll check in later. Bye. Um, so, change of plans. So, I was in Vegas because I was um, assisting my wonderful creative director of American Music Theater for the new audition at Andy and I's old uh, trade school program that we went to in Las Vegas, TAPS. And then after... Vegas. I was supposed to go to California till January 21st, which is next Tuesday, the day after my birthday. And I was supposed to be there taking classes and just kind of settling in the LA life, um, since that's where I would like to go. But life throws those crazy pair of balls at you, unfortunately. And now I am currently back home in Indiana. After I flew to California, I was only in Las Vegas for four days, and then I flew to California on the 11th. I had lost my voice when I went to Las Vegas, um, but I didn't really think anything of it because usually every time I travel to Las Vegas, I lose my voice because of the difference in weather. Um, I flew to California and I felt like kind of icky, but like I just thought it was from flying and traveling so much. And then the next morning I woke up in just uncontrollable pain, felt very sick, coughing, blah, blah, you know. Um, so I go to the Minute Clinic as one does when they are feeling like on a Sunday afternoon, told me I had pneumonia. And I was like, You gonna x-ray me or like draw me blood? Like, uh, I've had pneumonia twice before. It did, it did feel similar, but like, I don't know. Like it just like came on very strong and very fast. Um, so it felt a little weird for it to be pneumonia. And he gave me a list of medicines, which were like, as long as, as long as the Declaration, Declaration of, Independence. of Independence. So then I sent those to my doctor here in Indiana um, and was like, are these okay to take? And he was like, um, if he's saying you have pneumonia, I would go to the ER. So I went to the ER, my friend Alice drove me and um, I'm being one of those annoying people right now. Still got that hospital band on. Um, not trying to, I just have been in the house not doing anything because I feel like crap. Anyways, so I went to the ER and they took me back honestly immediately after I told them I think I have pneumonia 
and they took an x-ray of my chest and then they came back and were like, You don't have pneumonia. And I was like, oh, sick, sick, what's wrong with me? Oh, then they tested me for the flu and, oh, hello, Riley. This is my aunt's dog, Riley. Hi, yes, you're so cute, yeah. Can you lay down? Uh, why don't you show your face? Okay. Um, so then they um, tested me for the flu, and then I was negative for the flu. Um, and then she came back and told me that I have a very bad case of viral bronchitis. Um, so now uh, I called my mom because I felt like crap. She said it was probably best for me to come home because I was put on bed rest technically for uh, a week because they don't want it to turn into pneumonia as my throat has done before. Um, throat, lungs, cool Claire, you really know your anatomy. Um, so then my mom was the lovely woman that she was, flew me home that night. Um, I got in around 12 a.m., came home, went to bed, and then my poor mother ended up going to the ER the next morning. Um, well, at like 3 a.m. and found out that her stomach intestines had twisted and had to get um, emergency surgery. And now she is in the hospital. So, hashtag 2020. Is going really strong right now for the Picciarellos. I mean, she had surgery yesterday. She's doing, um, she's doing well. They fixed her intestine, obviously. And now she's in the hospital for a couple of days. So I been put in charge of my dog, which is Chloe. Chloe. She's coming. And then Riley, which is my aunt's dog. She really wants the spotlight, as you can see. She's really cute. She's only like nine months old. Are you nine months old? Are you cute? Are you cute? Yeah, are you cute? There goes your cousin. Come here, Chloe. Oh. They both like to show their backs. So that's really cute. This is my dog, Chloe, and then Riley, you've already met. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So now I'm in charge of the dogs as I'm sitting here feeling like death. Um, they really want to play ball, but I'm just like not about that life right now because I'm a little bit hashtag ill. Um, also, um, the reason that I had not recorded anymore in Vegas is because I forgot, clearly. Now I'm home. I'm laying on... Me too, Riley. I'm laying on the couch with the dogs. Um, I'm feeling really icky right now. I'm real tired. But we're surviving. We're thriving. I was giving... Given I... I was given an inhaler for my bronchitis, um, and now um, I am what? Um, Why are you growling? Yeah, I just thought I at least had. It. I thought that um, Andy's uh, dancing and comedy at the beginning was just too funny that I could not waste those clips that I took. So I wanted to make the rest of the vlog and also kind of make it an update um, about life this past couple of weeks. It's been crazy. Um, I finished my first contract with American Music Theater about three, two, two weeks ago now. Um, I came home for a couple of days. My family moved into a new house. Um, very exciting. Um, and then after a few days, I went straight to Vegas for about five or, or four or five days. And then from Vegas, I flew to California. And then I was supposed to be there still. 
Um, I was supposed to meet with my agency, uh, go to talent. I was supposed to take some classes and work with some people, but unfortunately, my immune system said, <laughs> and now I'm home, but clearly everything happens for a reason because I am ending up, I'm happy that I'm home now because I would not want to be away from my mother and father at this time while my mother had to be in the hospital. Upcoming, I have a week vacation that I purchased myself. I know big girl purchase, what is going on. Um, I purchased it with my money from my first professional gig. Um, so I'm going on a week vacation with my friend Cassidy and her family. Shout out to you guys. Um, we're going on a cruise, a carnival cruise. So I'm very excited to just like be able to get away for a week and hopefully get some sun because I'm looking about as white as a ghost or sometimes I like I feel like I kind of blend in with Riley's skin um. <coughs> Ooh, that was gross on that note I'm really tired and I can't really breathe so I am going to end this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed at least the beginning of this vlog and you got a good story time out of the rest. So, peace and blessings. I hope everyone is staying happy and healthy this 2020 season. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Hanukkah. Happy holidays. That's what I just should have said. See you next time. Chloe, say hi. Riley, you want to finish the vlog? No? Boom. <laughs>